Hi guys, my name is Chris and this is Webonics Gaming and today we're going to be diving into Calibria Crystal Guardians. There are probably going to be three main types of players for this game. Players coming in from Summoner's War, players moving over from Raid Shadow Legends, and new players that haven't played any of the previously mentioned tiles. Um, so for the people coming over from Summoner's War, this game will feel very similar to you. However, there are some major changes that I will go over later on in this video. The people moving over from Raid Trail Legends, congratulations! You've found a game to play where the producers do not take advantage of you for playing their game. And for all of you new players, welcome. This is a perfect type of game for your, for your mobile phone and will leave you wanting more as you build up your heroes and take on the most difficult dungeons in this game. So there is a lot to cover in this video and this game brings some unique features to the table. So stick around to find out what they are. So let's get into it. Um, so first thing to do when you start up this game is to pick a server and then name your character and then you'll be sucked into this tutorial that will take you through the basics and get you started on your adventure. Um, so <laughs> the story to this game is pretty basic, um, however I'm, I, I can't remember what it's about as I was like, I spent most of the time laughing at the voice acting because it's so bad um, and so yeah after the, the giggles I kind of just like skipped through it. So you get into the meat of the game. Um, <clears throat> so this is your basic hub. Let's just take a, a brief look into this. Top corner you've got your kind of uh, your character stats, your name, your level, um, chat functions, all the same as what you'd normally expect. Um, your resource tab down the down the right side uh, with some. You got your events tab uh, further down on the right side as well. Just going to give you some. Uh, some timed uh, missions to be able to to complete to get more resources from uh, events are always good it keeps the game a bit more interesting you got generally your main features uh, at the bottom like your battle allows you to do more battles obviously like campaign stuff dungeons pvp that type of thing heroes the hero screen is pretty nice i'm liking this a lot it's kind of got everything you need to be able to customize your heroes uh, to power them up to make them stronger um, uh, you know, once you get used to it, you kind of get a feel to what, for where everything is and it makes things so much easier just having it set out like this. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, quests and milestones in this game, uh, especially to get you started. There's loads of things to aim for to be able to get rewards back for. Uh, and this game does a good job at throwing a lot of that at you at the start so you can keep playing this game for a while and really get into it and you know, find your feet uh, for this. So, I've also got friends lists in this game. Um, this is something that some games already implement, where you can um, set a, a rep hero uh, for yourself, and then your friends have one as well, and you can use each other's heroes uh, in battles. We have guilds. These add a little bit more as well. You can uh, you got your checking rewards for there, dungeons, guild wars. Uh, on this side, you've got the kind of like. Uh, as a, you're like a, a buff to show my I've got like two times XP for like 10 minutes uh, a power up button which is a nice navigational tool to uh, kind of guide you if you've got a question go here it's going to answer it and it's going to take you to where you need to be but yeah, in terms of resources what you get for uh, for playing this game you get your daily login rewards you get a, a like a questionnaire thing every day which gives you five questions to answer the more you get right the more resources you get you get this wish button here, a, a kind of a roulette, so uh, a chance to get one of these items at the bottom, and you can do that four times a day. And then you get all your uh, standard stuff. So it's got a growth plan, stuff to aim for and get rewards for. So I've got a few here which I can still collect. Um, I believe there's quite a few of these as well, which you can you know, keep getting rewards. Um, and if you spend a bit of money, you can double those rewards as well, which is kind of nice. Um, and then you've got your standard dailies your achievements and this gives you like a, a fight plan which kind of gives you little milestones for each area of the game uh so yeah graphics wise um it's not appealing to everyone i mean i'm coming from retro legends um as well and i played summoners war before um in the past so it's kind of it keeps the same kind of look as summoners war it's got that uh, animated animated kind of uh, simplistic look to it um you know, it might turn some players off, but to those people I would say just give it a chance, kind of um, play it for a few days, kind of find your feet in this game and then see how you feel afterwards. 
because uh, it is a nice a nice game to play. Uh, so I'm just gonna have a quick battle here. I've got my team set up. This is where I'm just farming food. Um, so the gameplay is generally what you'll expect. A lot of the time you're gonna be auto battling, and especially in dungeons, you're gonna want to work to auto battle auto battle your teams to be able to complete in the fastest time possible at the highest level. Um, but until you're up to that stage, you're probably going to have to manual some of those. It does have the auto battle feature for this as well. Just for the campaign. Actually, let's just have a look at that now. I don't know if it's in this. Yep, you've got it in dungeons as well, so that's even better. Uh, so basically, you can auto farm dungeons and campaign missions. Um, and you can keep that going as long as you've got the resources to keep going into those. So that is also another nice feature in this game. What are we going to say for cons? For cons, let's start with our pros. Our pros list is pretty big. It's got more pros and cons in this game than it uh, for me. Um, so if we go for our pros, it's very free-to-play friendly. Um, you know, there's no subscription, no battle pass. There's monetization in this game, but it's kind of, um, you know, it's hidden in the corner somewhere. It's not in your face as soon as you log into the game um so yeah very free to play friendly very casual friendly as well it seems you don't have to spend endless amounts of time grinding yeah i mean you still have to grind but i mean it just feels like it's less maybe the levels are lower i don't know so uh in this game as well it's easy to get started one of the things i love about this game is there's loads of uh helpful advice like i said mentioned before there's the power up button which is going to give you a load of uh, it's going to answer a lot of questions that you have in this game and it's going to take you to exactly where you need to go so i need to get calamite 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 <laughs> uh where do i get calamite from so i can it's dropped in main stages dropped in catacombs archive rewards check in it's our ruins i've got some ruins let's go there we're gonna take you there straight to this rune selling tree and it's got a nice, again, it's got another feature that's nice to sell runes with. Um, where you can just quickly select a whole group of one and two stars, if I had any, and sell them all. Or my three stars, or my four stars. Which I don't have. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, you get the idea. Quick selling functionality to get more cash. One thing that's a pro in this is they throw a lot of resources at you. To keep you playing for longer. Um, only thing I would recommend when you start playing this game is just once you've got a few gems up, purchase an XP boost. Uh, it's going to be very useful, especially starting off as you're going to be wanting to farm those campaign levels and get your experience up higher. There's fusion, um, like a lot of this stuff as well as to do with heroes. So there's a lot of features that are included in this, which are big bonuses. There's fusion champions uh, here, so you can fuse up to this champion here which seems like a very nice champion to be fusing so always something to work on straight straight out of the gate as soon as you get these champions down here work on these to fuse and it gives you an indication uh somewhere i can't remember where uh with this icon tells you that it's a fusible champion so you want to be keep holding on to that yeah just a lot of the pros in this are to do with the features very champion collection oriented features which i think are missing in some uh it keeps in champion heroes which are missing in uh, a lot of hero collection games such as such as uh one which would i think would be very important for a hero collection game is the archive rewards so this is basically it's it's a reward for collecting heroes um so you collect all these heroes here you get a free five star hero which you can collect yeah it's also got other features where you can like uh swap out get over this yeah if you've got any unwanted characters you could just swap them out for <laughs> for another uh for another hero of that same star level uh but the thing i really like about this game that makes it stand out more than other ones is the skill customization so you can get so this one i've changed a few skills with this guy uh, you get your basic skills which you start off with which you unlock by going into pv battles and evolving or should i say ascending or evolving by ascending or evolving your your hero um but you can also select different ones and switch them out which is a very nice feature so it adds more customization uh to your heroes and to your teams 
allowing you know, different, uh, a lot more different combinations when you're building your teams, which I think is absolutely brilliant. Um, so yeah, it's a very, very good hero customization. Now onto the cons. So I've already mentioned a few of these before. Graphics can seem a little too simplistic for me. The sound can seem a little bugged by either not playing or, or the file sizes being too small that it can't. Uh, that just feels like it's it's cheap and not really well produced there. Um, I'd have to say the biggest one for me is part of your hero progression and that's um, that it doesn't kind of give you any hints about Sanctify, um, which is kind of a big one, especially for a hero collection game, where if you've got duplicates of heroes, you're going to be want to try to swap them out for different heroes. Um, but this Sanctify here is basically a level 40 skill that you get, where um, it adds an extra like skill to your hero, but in order to unlock that, you need to sacrifice a duplicate of the hero that you're trying to Sanctify. Um, so having two of the same hero and not skill it, using them for a normal skill up is worth holding on to to be able to get that sanctify. So that's something that I don't kind of tell you about. Something you, you'll normally stumble on when you reach level 40 with a hero. Uh, and you know, just a little warning would have been nice. So yeah, so that's basically it for my for my pros and cons list. <clears throat> so in conclusion, um, in my opinion... Uh, this is a great game for all types of players to get into. Uh, it's more casual and free to play than other games in this genre, and it has loads of help within the game to get you started. Um, I do have some fears, however, that uh, for the longevity of this game, it kind of seems like people are progressing really fast in this game, but it is still a new game. Uh, so hopefully there's room to add more content uh, as, as the ideas it brings. Uh, what I'm trying to say, the, the ideas that it brings um, uh, to the table is something to take note of. It brings a lot of new you know, features in this game, which you know, other companies should take notes of. And you know, hopefully this game can uh, can progress, it can add more content, give, give something to feed the people playing this. Because um, it seems like it could be a really nice game, hopefully one that lasts for a few years and you know, it generates a lot more, uh, a lot more customers to it. Because, as you can see, it's a f virtually a free-to-play model. They're not asking for much. Um, and I hope they, that they get the funding that's deserved for this. Um, I would recommend this game, and we'll be playing it for a while at least. And hopefully we'll be able to bring out some more content for this game. Um, so have you guys played this game yet? What are your thoughts so far? And is there anything you would like me to cover in future videos? Feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, if this video was useful to you at all, then please click those like and subscribe buttons as it helps me a great deal and is always much appreciated. Um, so with that said, thanks all and hopefully see you guys again in the next video. Take care.